Welcome, welcome, welcome to Factory Modded. I'm just gonna try to finish off my spaceship I started earlier. I was doing a mining ship. This is all this. All this. And um, I think I'll put the logic in. But I've been drinking so I might struggle. Um, the ship's basically done. Um, all the logic is, is connect to this, and then it's um, emptied out the resource, and connect to this when it's picked up the resource. So these um, need to be on, it could be on the outside of the ship, or the inside. Um, the purpose of, of this though, I might put them on the inside, because it's just these resources here, and these things here. So instead of having these, I'm going to have these. So these just get ripped off. Um, which makes it kind of easy to fix. So what you do is literally cut and paste from the right one to the right one. So it's got to go to the destination when the resource is low. That one. So this goes the bottom one, and this goes the top one. And that's done. That should now do its thing. Now I'm supposed to have another condition um, to check also that it's got sulfuric acid. Because if it doesn't have sulfuric acid, it won't be able to do any mining. Now if it doesn't have any mining, I'll never fill up at the other end and then it'll get stuck. So this is supposed to generate sulfuric acid, but it's very slow to come out. It seems like is that max capacity? So it gets all the way up here. And this is my fault. So it's a limit of 15,000. And that is at 15,000. So I'll just bump this up to um, 45,000. And it's to drain this dry. Cool. That's done. The next test is. Um, the resources. Now, most of these are not empty, which is good. But when they are, I need to be able to empty them out. So, I have to put another one of these in. This one. And then a second one. I have to get both conditions though. I don't know how to do this. How do I get both of the feet into the one? I'm going down there. And this is sulfuric acid. Is um. I only want forty five thousand, but is it? What's the output thing there? Any, isn't it? Everything, yeah. So, I could go to both the docking things, but I'm not sure Dave's chance. So when that's less than equal that, go to this one. And then gates behind that. So, what I'm going to do is disconnect this red wire. Yeah. Go in the back. Yeah. And do another red wire. Yeah. Back in there. And then unconnect those two. Now this did not do anything until it's got there. The problem is the um, location it's at. This checking condition, the both could be on, right? Um, now I got to launch the ship. I currently got launching on um, nowhere. I got no launching. I'm manually launching, so I need a launch condition. So it needs to have. It doesn't need this here anymore. This fuel situation is not necessary. The docking clamp is, but this could be. Um, what is the condition on that? So 
the, the destination, right? Is the um what's a 1.1k? What is that? What is a? I'm not sure what a is. So look, a is if the spaceship is anchored, then indicates the anchored zone ID with an A signal. Anchored zone ID? What the hell? What is that? This is zone 1.1k, so is that based on that asteroid field? Oh. I can use that then. It's like I'm just relaunching the anchor. This, what logic do I want here is the launching condition. So if if, if these things are true, it should just go right. But this that, this red one should go on the back of that as well. I don't think it should go to the front. I gotta turn these things off because they've been replaced by these ones. At least I think they have. Um, so remember the output signal here shouldn't be the resource. But it should be... Um, I went to grab that launch signal. Can I do a launch signal? Can I do... Output launch. I do that. Does that work? And because now it's got launch signal based on so that's got launch there, see, but it's not at that location. So the speed signal I don't need anymore because the ship's not flying. I don't want to ruin this too much because I need the uh, first kind of place from another ship, so it doesn't matter. Um, the docking thing I ripped out, now this is uh, I can't remember what that was for, that was for the, the previous condition for docking based on this. So I've changed it now. I could move this off the ship as well. So it's um Multiple ships can do it. Because then I can have this off the ship. I have to do the same thing every time on the same ship. I'm going to save it off the ship. Be good. The thing is, I can't drain this of resources. This is all filled up. This is filled up. So, and down here, these are all filled up. So I can put more of these down, but until I get more Naquatite trains, I mean spaceships, um, all the side is kind of chocker. And I could put more docks. I could just go down and put more of these down, but I mean, I can build it pretty quick here, which is nice. I'm gonna put these down. Like that. That'll help. Do the second rung of them too. That should, in theory, test the ship out. So if I can drain the ship of Nequitite, or I can. Force sprint. I can force drain it. I can always just put more of these chests in place. That'd work too. Just rip, rip it out of there. Delete it. Get rid of it. Anyway, um, yeah. So it's got the launch signal on the this one here, the docking to the spaceship, which is interesting. Which is the less than equal to zero. Why is that one? Giving this signal. 
because this is not reading the spaceship contents. That's why. I need to hook this up. This is... Is it green wire I want? I'll do green wires. I need to read the spaceship. There or... Over there. Where did this other one go? I went to there first. Oh, I cannot reach. Well, fine. Reach now, so it says 84,000? 84, 84, hey, Shishimio, 84,000 Nekotite on this ship. No way. 68 times... 48 times 10. That's 7 times 5 times 10. It's 35,000. How do you get 85,000 then? How's that possible? Where's it getting its numbers? Oh, it's reading from the logistic network. Take that off. Say now. 6,000. That's still too high. Um. Where's it getting its numbers from? I've got nothing on my ship. I've only got these storage things. I mean, each one's 500, right? So it's 35,000. So how is it 66,000? Six, this says 28,000 storage. Whereas this, this says 56,000 in the wire network. I think it's because it's reading. It must be reading somewhere else that I'm not aware of. Let's have a look. Wired up. Arts oh, reading that one. Here we go. Now we're done 28,000. 28,000, cool. So we've got a baseline. So. I sent it at quite a high number. Um, and this has got. It's still passing the signal to launch. I'm just curious, because it shouldn't do. Unless it's less than a zero, but this doesn't. Isn't less than a zero. Oh wait, it's not reading from this though. There's a green wire in there. Green wire to back. And now it's reading it. It's still... No, it's not It's not launching. That's that. The other one's launching now because it's got... Um, it's got this condition. So it's greater than equal to 23k. Which means it should dock. It should go dock with this one, right? Just where it is at. So that's that's right now. So this this signal here don't need this. The ship isn't um, using this. This should be greater than equal to one k. I'll just leave it token. It's not actually an automated ship. That's the launch signal. You pass along. Don't they want it's not getting both of them. Let's go into the back of that one, which is the sulfuric acid. Go to that one. Ah, I see what's going on. So Oh wait, it should it should punch a launch signal along. This one, which then passes this and launch signal to this one. So it should then go to launch. So it should work. Um, we're going to do is empty out the ship of, of the resource. Which doesn't seem to be happening. Why not? We've got all these ones here, but they got, they're got they not in range. That's too slow. I think that's too slow to move. This one, um, space loader. Bit sad. Taking a while to move it all down. There are no row ports down there. Up there. Yeah, it should work out. And then, uh... 
Can I feel that delivers storage stuff? I can move more into storage, to be honest. This stuff here should be delivering. This stuff. Is that in range? It should be. Yeah, definitely. So, somebody's just only going active provider to storage, not active provider to passive. So, the end one's filled up. The mid ones aren't. And it's not taken from the chest. The chest aren't getting any priority. So I've designed this wrong. What I should do is uh, prioritize these on a splitter. So that they get priority delivery. Do I have any splitters? I do. Priority input left. Here we go. Now it gets half and half. That's all good. It's getting some, which means it moves um, some of this ore out and it keeps these belts flowing. The problem is, I got so much ore on the ship, it's going to take a while to unload it. I kind of messed that up for a test case. I kind of loaded up the ship when I shouldn't have, and plus the trains are going still, and <sighs> because it's just got so much resource. I think I have to like, get a lot more of these. Like a lot more. Just store it all. It's fine. None of mind. It's fine. Where's my power? Oh, we got power here. This robot range. Cool, so this should rip out all this pretty quickly. My robots should be, uh... Well, they can't even load, they can't even unload fast enough versus the belts. Those four belts ain't... These robots got nothing on those four belts. This is, uh... Ain't draining. Ain't draining. So we should better empty this out pretty quick. I'm kind of keen to design a 1k straight line spaceship for hauling. Now, the good thing is we probably could design it with this ship and this attachment. And then we just break the attachment when we do the hauling part. And I do need to make a better version of this ship as well in uh, Navis Orbit. We started working on it. Um, We've got it down here. We've got the exoskeleton. We need to put another one of these for the reactor uh, on the other side. So that's this thing. Let's do a F. Blueprint of spaceship antimatter engines cannot be flipped. Well, I'll just delete the antimatter engines then. How about that? Now I'll flip it. Blueprint of condenser turbine can I Oh my god, you shitty me. Really? Can't flip that. G, F. Let's rotate it. I think rotate's probably fine. Um. I think it's gonna be okay. Up there. But the um the logic gate's gonna be moved. We need we definitely need two reactors. We've got three reactors. Don't have enough of the, the existing. What's above the wall here? What's all that? How's that? Um, how's my trial? Oh, we get we're down to single file ores. So this is um, what's gone wrong here? Ah, oh, there's an underground belt here. I didn't uh, connect in. I couldn't even see it. It was invisible. 
There's actually quite a few coming off this. A bit awkward. We should have a uh, proper merge situation. So this should probably be. Tidier. Um, shit, how do I do this? How do I do that? No. That works. Oh, then it's only half there, though. Um, Do half there, no half there. Then that'd be okay. Yeah, that should splice it in nicely. Got one chest here that's not unloading. Things like that unloading into the side of this thing it doesn't work. We do shift L, it works. So that's curious. Oh, this was the same. Oh, well, it's working. These two can't go. Not really um, on this side that can't go. It was most of them. Most of them aren't going shit. Oh, we didn't even build the um Pacer Fighter, shit. Okay. Oh, we built that. I mean the power lines too. Um. Alright, let's go fly over. We should have rockets. Okay, here we go. I just need the six of these. I need some robot range. Let's do some space trickery. Do one of these. Five. Should be alright. Let's put power. Oh, down here. Move. Where is it? Come on. That should be fine in the corner. And the knees should better. Unload as well. The beast. Now I could uh, move. I could move this uh, special console into the middle here. Make it shit smaller as well. What's the work to do still? Diamonds. That looks like we've emptied out most of this. We've got a couple here. There is this one for a. And this one with already. Why are they both not going? They're both unloaded. These are both unloaded to the same place as well. Not even on the opposite side. This should be on the other side. For some reason it was this nearer side for some reason. Yeah, it's, it's unloading. My resource count should be dropping down low. It is 9k. I'm going to move it before then. I just have the um, sulfuric acid go. I think I'm going to get the 45k to be honest. 
Brit, uh... We're at 45k. I'm not even reading it. I've gotta read this. I've gotta read the I've gotta read the signals. There's six signals there. Hooked in? I can't see it in the list. It's on there. What? Where is this thing? Okay, that's got the 45k. So this should have the 45k. It does. Good. So I just need the resource type trigger. The launch. Now I've got it at least equal to zero. I might even do a. Um, because of that, I'm, re I'm more in interested in the sulfuric acid than the actual absolute number of this going down. This can probably drop to even 2,000 and leave. There's no cost in fuel. All the costs are not mining. I'd rather be mining. So as long as I got this, I think we're good. I mean, this this ore is this going to trickle out. All these, these, these storage containers, like... Ah, <sighs> so many of them. They're both going to the near side. Hmm. I mean, it's still filling up that, um, because the belt's so slow, it's still filling it up. The number of storage chests actually helps more than uh, anything else. Oh, well, this, this is wiping it way quicker. Holy moly. Robots. Do your job. Rip it up. Take it away. Be gone. Say no more. Sacre bleu. Alright, where we at? We're at 8.5k still. Why is this not emptying out? Um, that doesn't look very good. I don't like that. It's only on one side. So... The drop near. Not gonna help that much. Oh, I'm ready to help is actually uh, emptying out these chests. Now they don't in the range, they've got no robot. What's that? I not build it. Oh, they just weren't available. I'm actually amazed when she might get spaceship actually. Spaceship 8. What a grind. Now the robot should uh, be flying over here now. Picking this up, but we're not because we're actually outside the range of the network. So we need a secondary one in here. Uh, somewhere in there. Doesn't matter. Wait for the robots to do the job. Come on, guys. Good job, man. Okay. Cool. And that is dropping in temp. So if you be mindful of that, we could end up browning out my base. We don't send another beam of energy. Remember? But they're going to rip up all the ore now. I'm going to drop the test. Um, it should work. The ship should launch by itself. It's not off board, it's on board. But I can off board it afterwards. I think doing on board is better first because um, it's easy to control it. So, the only logic here to check now is this thing. If I drop this to, uh, say, 5k, 
It should launch. Soon. Not straight away, but soon. 5.3, 5 5.2, 5.1, 5. Start launching, guys. Give a signal to launch. You're not going to launch. What have I done wrong? I thought I was reading all the signals. So it's sending it the launch signal. But it's not reading it. This is getting here. And it's not getting it. So this is not passing this condition long. I think this needs to go to two places. Oh no, this is actually not reading the um Okay, I see what's happening. So this is this here is reading This is reading this. But this is not reading it. So this needs a um read it. it needs to read it. Now it's got the 45k, it's got the launch signal, it's been passed along. Now it's doubling it though. Because <sighs> I've got a connection between these two. A bit dumb. Can't see what's going on. Is it the back of it or the front? The title mess. There's so many wires. Not launching anywhere. I don't know why. It should be though. Got the launch signal. Hmm. That doubles it, you see. This one here reads it again, so I'm beating it twice. That's better. I don't need this signal at all. Um, I need days to change that. Uh, what do I do? It? Any. I still need any signals just to make sure it works. I think that basically what you do is make sure the launch signal passes on, right? But it's not. That launch is going to there, that's going to there, that's not going. It's got the input of launch. The output it's not getting to the next one. And that one's not getting to the actual signal console. So this one here is not passing along. Watch it, eh? Um why is this not passing along? Who cares about this? Account. Red wire. First the output is that, so this is with the input. Position. Each. It passes along, it should now launch. Is it going to launch? I think it should. I don't know what it wants to though. Um, yeah, I did need those distance signals. I may have got these run the wrong way around. So when it's got less than 5k, be docking to 200. And the docking thing disappears on this thing. It's not passed along. Because it changes signal to be that. So maybe um, each grid of one just gives the launch signal instead. Yeah. 
And then this. So now it's got the dark. So now it's got five launches. What the hell? How did it get five launches? Ah, oh, because it does that. It should be each. Just, just to pass through that. We don't need that one. This is equal to stock one. Where's the launch signal gone? But no launch signal, so... Let's do a launch here. That one. That gives five launches, though. We don't want five launches. Anything. Everything. That's the launch signal. Is it the right one? No, oh, it's any, any one of them. Um, it's not launching anyway. It should be launching now. The docking and... If all of it's sort of made addition, yeah, that's the one. Why isn't launching there? What's wrong with this thing? Hmm. I think this is the wrong way around. So this is going into the less than 5k. Now I thought this should be going for this where it's going to, right? When it's at least a 5k it should go to that mining depot. That's the way my brain works. I mean it's meant to be the other way around. Maybe this is meant to be the 40. It's meant to be 200. Let's get all the output signals this one. Saying launch, but dock to where it is already at, so it's not a launch. Oh, it's got an output signal. Why is that got an output signal? Um, one output input count. But that's not what's happening. I think the last one's supposed to have. This is no good there. I think we're supposed to be using this uh, output signal minus two. So How's that working? It's not passing it on. But it's not reading the distance signal, is it? So, how can it pass it on? We'd need that signal. It's going only to the power pole. I can't exactly feed the power pole. Well, I could feed it individually. Feed that to that. Oh, that's a total mess. Can't do that. That's no good. This one's got to be the launch. All the conditions are met. I don't even need this check here. This is kind of a superfluous leftover. I'm just trying to get it working.
Now it's launching because I accidentally got it all lined up. Now it should launch. Go to that location. Even though I didn't need those extra checks for distance and the pass through. It's kind of doubled up. Should stay at the other place now until it's finished. Oh, where's it gone? It's not even docking. What the shit? It's still got 40. Hmm. Docking command. I think the anchor single. Um. Yeah, whatever I ripped out, I needed. <laughs> it's a bit awkward. So, maybe that does need to stay at 200. And that, that pretty. Just have dock, not launch. That's where I'm going wrong. This thing here, I'll put it dock. What's the docking signal? That's the launch. Where's the dock? This is the location. Let's do d do this thing and uh, the A signal. <laughs> it's not really anything. Um, and that's kind of on us too. Let's just jump between the two. Mm. Where's Astro Field? Um, condition. Maybe that one needs something. We're missing one part of the puzzle is our location. We've got to read our location. It's currently we can only go into orbit for takeoff. Can't read dock. Look at the signals. Now it's got A is this one. This is minus one. So. I guess we need to have the distance. Minus one. Get back into this. The docking. So, um, how do I do that? I have to look at other spaceships. So these ones have yeah, this console thing, which is fine. And then this thing is less than zero for the for the docking, right? So. But minus one or minus two, they're not really less than zero. Thank you, using special. Uh, hmm. Maybe I do need that. Burnt wrong. This was reading from the main thing, too. It's just reading from console. What's that? Is it? No, it's not, nothing even reading there. This is an old ship. That's not the right ship. This one. It's reading all that, outputting dock. 
This is reading all that thing, dock to the right thing, so that's telling which one anchor to. But it's like there's too many of both the things, so I'm currently using a, um, a constant. So this should be um, distance to zero. I'll put count. Um, think. Redundant. Let me pass through this um, these signals. Just the other part. I'm assuming. I think I need this part. I'm not using the ID. I just need to pass through the signal. So as I change this output of student signal, it loses all the rest of it. It makes it all ones. That might work. Doing something. Oh, we docked. Oh, wow, did it work? We're gonna lose these straight away. We, uh. Happened. Did it work? I mean, we're mining at the mining site, so that's great. We've unloaded a bunch of, uh. sulfuric acid. These are filled up, filling up. We don't have enough for this, of course, for the mining operation. That's fine. I mean, the main thing about this is, uh... It's quite quick at mining. You know, I don't have power. I think that might work for the automated part of it. It's one the spaceship. I'm like a bit on the spaceship. This got this fired as well. Carrying it. How's we looking? Got um. Need the signal going. This is a. Uh, 3-3k, this is the 5k. We're in no man's land, so we have no signal getting passed along. That's what we want. But this, this shouldn't be here. Um, this is a problem. Because this is supposed to be only for one of the cases. When we got, uh, Anna. Well, it kind of is, I guess. How is this kind of out of fuel? Out of power? It's gonna take a little while to mine nickel time. The thing is, I can do this on any planet. No, just asteroid fields. You can do the surface. It's mine anything. A little spaceship. Not the best looking spaceship. Like a four headed Hydra.
that should should work. Took a bit of uh, sulfuric acid. The problem is the, the mining operation stops when, when we leave. I mean, I could leave behind a reactor here. Um, I kind of like having nothing here. Even though that means we don't mine when we're not here. I think the robot, the amount of ore it gets, like 35,000, that's like two shiploads. I guess I could, I could have two ships, then hey, alternate where they go because you're not really doing a train station. That one work. I think it's going to store a lot more than chess. I'm actually reading um, this grid before it leaves, so I've got enough for. Um, always got enough for a second trip, maybe. But mine's like two trips worth before it leaves. That means when we leave, there's still enough ore to come straight away back, pick up another lot of ore. But then we won't leave until we buff it up another one. Will that create any problems? This is the buffer, that's all. It doesn't actually solve anything. But. Always like buffers because he gets a bit more time to react. If you have no time to react, you can't um, adjust what you're doing. I mean, I like this with the quick tie here, it's quite good. This uh, 12k. I could make it tighter. So I can make it so that. Try to get it working, right? So this is greater than or equal to 12k. And see what makes me launch. This is not going to read because. It goes to the end there, so that should pass. So it should be on launch. Why is it not launching? No power. Signal the wrong location. Say so it's going to 40. Which is right. This has got nothing coming in. It's not less than zero. I think it's not reading that signal. I can't give it that signal because it's got the other things going into it. Here are the red signal though. The red signal is safe. That's a whole lot of shit through. But one of them is... We have a move store. Doesn't work. Uh, could be a power issue though. I mean, this one in the back. How's it getting the signals? Hmm. So we're not quite there. We better jump it back with that 12k. This one here, the, not reading it 
Mini anyway. Um. Because we passed our feet through this bloody pole. I can't really read it though, because it kind of passes it endlessly for each other. I think there's a second pole. Just to read it, or, the, or we just do a um, separate read signal to the back of that, which is what I did before, but that didn't work. So this doesn't. So that there's. That's a good one. There's no launch signal though. No one's got the launch. This is not... Uh, who's going to launch? No one's going to launch. How do we launch then? Huh. I don't know how I launched then. I thought I was giving a launch signal. I had that there. I think that's the better one to launch though. Go back to where it came from. No. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We're gonna dock. Wrong with it. Why can't I dock? Got the launch signal, but it's not getting the docking signal. I need that signal, the anchoring signal. This is no good. It's got to pass the anchoring signal on regardless. This is probably supposed to pass on a launch signal. So this is. The launch is dock. And then it changes those signals to 1 and 40 because of that. That might work. We're back where we need to be. Unloading the ore. Getting more sulfur acid. Questions: How long do we stay here? We should stay to 5k, right? We've got um, 13k. I kind of like a kind of a tight um, pickup, though. We mine a little bit. We do little little mines. The frequency's better. We don't really like leave the chest empty or anything. Yeah, so I forgot there's an anger signal as well as a launch signal. And the launch signal is based on the prior signals being met, which is the resource and the sulfur acid. I I can rip these ones out now. I can save them for now. We don't need a speed thing either, so we can rip out those four signals. Are not necessary. I'm left in there though, just in case we um, ever fly the ship again. It still f could fly still. So we might have to go to a se separate um, situation for flying. It's emptying out quite well. This one's still taking a while. Oh, special 16. The 
Is it 16? I think so. Yeah, this is, uh... Well, it's been smashed. Very smashed. Um, we've got any walls? Can I not repair that, please? Oh, we put it on the logistic box. Logic on that. T is it? 350. What's T? Pressure box. Well, why isn't it taking it then? We're ripping them. There's logic box out of there. Put them in there. Why isn't taking them out? This is... What? So T is construction of bots available. Available construction bots is zero. So I mean, it's greater than 50, which is not true. Yeah. Less than 50. Here we go. Let's get construction bots. Fixes itself. Good at fire. Engine started? Or is it doing a check on itself? Let's see. Out of here. Cool, that's solved. That's my little uh, logic here. We got uh, 8.7k. You want to unload though, it's a problem. I had to test it. This just doesn't, this doesn't seem empty very well. Oh, it's because they're not powered. Oh man. Okay, that should get that going. Um, well, these are kind of full cool anyway. With, um, or I might have to send more ships to this planet because I've actually I've actually gone from four million necrotite to six million. Necrotype. We're moving a long way out here. This mine. We've got two mil. Make sure only one side's empty. This side's not really working. These, uh. Chests of shit. What's one side empty yet? 8.6k, let's go list to 9k then. Should launch. Not one launch. That's the launch signal. Why isn't it launching? Normal logistics and then construction. Hmm, I should try that sometime. Construction reports. Could be useful. I notice this actually took off right now. It's receiving nothing, so even though this is that's technically less than equal to zero. Launched in.
this has got no fuel on it. Some more steam buffer though. This thing's got, um, I've got a launch condition on it, but it's not launching. This is, I've got input of one, but it's not, um, can't be, it can't be a launch signal. It has to be an any signal, because it's got to pass on the logic of the previous one, so, at least it reads the same thing from this red wire. We won't be able to pass it on. Um, uh, maybe that, maybe that, well, it can't be a launch, it has to be a dock. A dock or a launch. Either of them are going to go in right? It's an either uh, of else case. I don't quite solve this yet. I need like another couple of... Um, Things. I think I might log. Ah, we might do it. Or something. Uh, 